transparency is a right. It's a right in the sense that the taxpayers' money that is being spent, the taxpayers have a right to know where their money is going to and what their money is being used for. And for the recipient countries, transparency is also a right to the citizens because they want to know what the money is being used for. If you provide assistance to me, I want to be able to know whether that assistance is creating the desired impact. So transparency is a right to both the taxpayers and also the beneficiaries. I work with the Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning as Development Assistance Database Manager. The ministry is the fiscal authority and treasury of the government of Nigeria. The ministry is also responsible for the management and administration of concessionary loans, including borrowing plans on behalf of the government of Nigeria. My role is to provide managerial oversight on the development assistance database that is domiciled in the ministry. My role also includes engaging regularly with development partners and the government at both national and sub-national levels, as well as other relevant stakeholders to ensure effective utilization of the DAT Nigeria system. Um, this will also in, in involves generating customized reports on official development assistance to the country and analyzing the reports to various stakeholders. Henry, can you tell me why a transparency matters to you? Yes, a transparency matters to not just me, to my country, and to everybody in the development aid ecosystem. Now, from a recipient country perspective, aid transparency is a fundamental requirement for increasing aid effectiveness and accountability for better development outcomes and also achieving the sustainable development goals. For us, it is crucial that our development partners and their finance flows are transparent. This will ensure that available resources are allocated and spent in a manner that responds and aligns with our national development priorities. As a matter of fact, aid transparency should be a shared responsibility because greater levels of transparency between development partners and the government will help to illustrate their commitment to not just the Paris principles on aid effectiveness, but their commitment to eradicate poverty, hunger, and disease. So for me, it's a shared responsibility. Presently with COVID-19, it is essential that transparency, openness, and integrity are encouraged and promoted by, gov by both government and development partners because during crisis like what we have now, the risk of corruption is aggravated by dramatically increased pressure on countries with weak systems and institutions because disruptions, uncertainties, and distractions caused by the pandemic contribute to an environment in which corrupt actors can take advantage of the crisis for their own benefit. So it's very, very important at this uh, time of COVID-19 that transparency, openness, integrity are encouraged. So Henry, what, what information specifically do you, do you need the most? I need information on external inflows to the country. And the reason is because there are a number of stakeholders that require that information. From the Ministry of Finance, Budget, and National Planning point of view, we need the information for evidence-based decision making. And then we also need the information for planning of our medium-term expenditure framework. And we also need the information to provide to parliament that provides 
oversight functions on the ministry. There are various uh, stakeholders with distinctive uses of the data. Uh, the media wants to use the information to be able to write data stories on whatever area they are researching, particularly when it concerns external inflows to the country. And even members of the academia, they also need the information. And they don't know themselves. They don't know themselves need the information for peer review so that they will be able to know which donor is doing what in what sector. And that way they will now also know where to channel their resources so that it will promote inclusivity rather than one sector having all the funds and another sector not having uh, support. In fact, in other countries, they call it division of labor. So the data is hugely, hugely needed by all stakeholders in the development aid ecosystem. Henry, as we know, transparency is not just about um, donor organizations and, and INGOs and so on publishing data and making data available. It's also about engaging with stakeholders and making uh, decisions in an inclusive manner and talking about sort of planned activities and, and, and what's going to be happening in the future. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about how you engage with donors and other organizations around data? I use data from the International Aid Transparency Initiative, IATI, to hold donors in country to account for their activities. Because from the International Aid Transparency Initiative, there are more number of projects or more activities reported than the activities that are reported in country. So when I get the data from International Aid Transparency Initiative, I send it to the donors in country to validate. So that way, they are able to account for the disparity that is uh, between the IRT data and the data that they have reported. And then it also opens up uh, robust dialogue on how we can be able to manage our in-country reporting system data uh, better or how we can have better data, better quality data from them. And it has been, that strategy has been successful so far. In a nutshell, our strategy is that whatever data that we get, we send it back to the donors for validation. And then sometimes we organize validation workshops and we discuss this um, data together, challenges, way forward, next steps, and, and things like that. And there is really, really a mutual and cordial relationship with the donors.